Welcome to a special video in our engine rebuild guide. Today we are rewiring a CDI stator using That's Gude Shop's rewiring kit. This rewiring kit can be purchased on our website datsgudeshop.com. Simply from the main menu go to online shop and parts and you will find it at the bottom of the page. There is also a link in the description below. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For this job we need a marker, a pick, as well as a soldering iron. We also need some wire cutters, as well as a sharp knife. Here I use an X-Acto knife, but you can use whatever you have. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Start by unpacking your stator rewiring kit. It contains CDI and power wires, properly colored, cut to the appropriate length, pre-soldered with insulated correct connectors, shrink tubing, and cable ties. Remove the old shrink wrap to access the old wires. Using a marker, then mark the routing underneath the stator. As an example, I here mark CDI for the white, red, and green CDI wires. Flip the stator and either take mental note or pictures of how the individual wires are routed. Use a marker to mark the individual colors of each wire according to their position on the coils and the pickup. If the colors on the old wires are faded, just scrape off the top layer to reveal the wire's color. Continue marking the appropriate colors all around the stator. Using the tip of the soldering iron, heat up the connection to a wire and remove it. Repeat this for all wires around. Feed the new wires through the shrink tubing and then route them according to your notes on the back of the stator. Once each wire is routed properly, heat up the solder again and feed the new connection through. Repeat for the rest of the wires and you're done. Before we put away the hardware, let's make sure we have everything. There is no leftover hardware, just shrink the tubing and cable tie it together. Now the stator is ready for install. Thank you for watching, click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and if you like this, you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.